You be tripping on the time when I'm spent. I pull up and gotta slide once again. You sign up, said you ride to the end. Yeah, but you don't wanna be here. No, if it's something on your mind, let me in. Hey, you know, I be hoping that the vibe never ends. I just hope you know that I understand that you don't wanna be here. No, I've been on a late night, making sure your plate right. You be paranoid hearing sirens again. I've been trying to make time, I've been moving statewide Hope I'm on the safe side, flying in the wind Hey, you know I double back, right after running laps I thought you wanted a hustler, girl it come with that I need that duck off double, I need that humble pack And I'm trying to put you on to something you ain't never had You be tripping on the time when I'm spent I pull up and gotta slide once again You sign up, said you ride to the end yeah. But you don't wanna be here, no If it's something on your mind, let me in hey, you know. I be hoping that the vibe never ends I just hope you know that I understand That you don't wanna be a no I do, okay, alright um, Hi guys, welcome, my name is Nicholas Johnson Welcome to my documentary um, During this documentary I'm gonna be taking you guys on a trip Through my experience and a, my friend's experience Through quarantine and through COVID As teenagers um, And during this documentary You guys will see some short interviews Some funny moments with my friends We're gonna be go-karting, playing basketball Working out And hope you guys enjoy Hey, hey, what I gotta run game for? I'm so tired of f***ing with these lame bones. You the one I wanna put that ring on. Hey, where should I look? <laughs> the camera. <laughs> or me, it's up to you. Okay. How you doing? <laughs> I can't take that. <laughs> I can't be serious. Uh, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing all right. Uh, my name is Giovanna Walker. I'm 17, and my favorite animal is a narwhal. <laughs> Why narwhal? They're so cute. Like... Uh, my name is Nate Dixon. Um, I'm 17, and my favorite animal is probably a wolf. Hi, I'm Alyssa Lau. Um, my, I'm 17 years old, and my favorite animal is probably dogs. Uh, my name is Tanisha Dunak. I'm 17, and my favorite animal is a wolf. My name is Robert Skinner. Huh? Was that too much information? No. Robert Skinner, I'm 20 years old, and my favorite animal, bats. Yeah, those are my favorite animals. Any reason in particular? Just... Any reason in particular? Um, I just think they look cool, to be honest. Um, they're interesting creatures. They can hang upside down. That's how they sleep. You fan of Batman? I'm not. It affected me a lot, but in a positive way. My mom was a frontline worker, so she wasn't home often. But I got to spend a lot of time with my siblings, um, with my twin brother and older sister. So we stayed home. Um, we got a lot of time to like talk to each other and like catch up and like figure each other out. Um, and I got to spend a lot of time by myself. <laughs> I realized that like I really value alone time and like being alone, going through my thoughts and stuff. So I think quarantine and COVID really helped me like figure myself out, have that self development and stuff like that. I think as someone who's an omnivert, um, I've learned to appreciate the time that I get with friends a lot more now. Um, but I also appreciate the time that um, I have by myself a lot more. Uh, I've learned just to make the most of um, both situations and just found ways to be productive when I'm by myself. I'd say I became a lot more antisocial. Like I got a lot more comfortable with being alone and spending time with friends. Like I wouldn't, okay, I would go with the same friends that I knew that were COVID safe. It was just like a good escape from home because I feel like during quarantine, the days just like repeated. It just felt like you were like reliving the same exact day like for another day and it would just get very tiresome covid i feel like you've asked me this question before last summer but covid oh, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but um let's see let me think i haven't been able to be on campus um for college so that has definitely affected me because i mean i spent most of my days at home during the semesters um other than that not much i mean i haven't i wasn't able to work for the first couple months um because of covid but um yeah that's that's pretty much it just like i wasn't able to go to school um um i think it's affected me pretty greatly um so in the beginning of the pandemic my mom actually lost her job um so that's been 
hard to navigate because now she went back to school, which is really good, but I had to like help her like relearn a lot of like just life skills that she wouldn't have known if she had stayed at a regular job. Um, obviously, I was home for a year um, and I have uh, I have three sisters, but one of them is 22 and she lives by herself. So just navigating like being at home with my sisters again has been like really hard in terms of just finding space for me to do work. Um, we live in a really small apartment, so sometimes I get kicked out of the room or the living room is just too loud. That And also in terms of friendships, it's also been kind of difficult um, because I'm very like, if I can't see someone in person, I like text a lot and I try to keep communication as alive as possible. So I basically like resort to like watching TV shows on like Netflix and stuff, but also like reading. I bought a bunch of books a few months ago that I've never read, so I got around to reading them. Um, I got really into audiobooks and podcasts and stuff like that, so that really takes up my time. Um, I do drawing and poetry and stuff, and I hang out with my friends occasionally. Socially distanced, of course. Um, I definitely picked up a couple new hobbies and just found different stuff that I'm interested in that I can do from home. And I've done a lot more with uh, uh, computer programming, uh, which is something I want to go to college for. I'm doing a lot of video editing and I'm doing sne sneaker reselling, um, all of which just are stuff that I can do from home, do from my computer. Um, stuff that I actually find like really fun and interesting. Um, definitely just try new things, like just get out there and find something that like you think you're gonna like even if you don't think you're gonna like it just give it a try like there's like you have a ton of there's a bunch of time now that um that you're probably inside so try to pick up a new hobby try something new like do some research on a new topic that you're interested in um and you may surprise yourself what you can like find that's interesting look for a job like i have two jobs right now well, like i'm not working them right now because i'm at school but um i have two jobs and i was working them during the quarantine and it was honestly great because like if you have nothing to do and like you just have free time you can make money during that free time and like you can just spend it on yourself or just save it up for something like i'm saving up for my car so this summer yay you got anything else you want to add um take care of yourselves mental health is always more important than your schoolwork i haven't picked up any hobbies but i've definitely well, actually, no, no, no. There was this one time, this one phase where I was really interested in dreams. Um, I was really, I was just interested in the fact that people can become aware that they're like in their dreams. So I kind of wanted to try that and see what I could do. I, unfortunately, I was never able to achieve that, but it was a fun experience. I had a dream journal and everything. Um, I would try and like remember my dreams when I woke up, stuff like that. But um, aside from that, I continued, I built off of my photography hobby, um, my clothing brand hobby, um, and that's been pretty much it so far. Um, I've been listening to a lot of music. I've actually started listening to um, a different kind of music. What is it called? Alternative. Alternative. Yeah. Yeah. I got hip to that. That's kind of cool. I listen to that sometimes. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much what I've been picking up. Um, I would say I got back to the things I, I love to do as a kid. Um, so I read constantly. If you see me on my phone, I'm like reading books. I also like once it got warmer, like taking walks um, has also been really nice. So like I started to appreciate uh, like New York for its scenery a lot more. So like I just social distance and I go myself to the edge or to um, this like it's a converted. Um, railroad but it's now like a walk through all throughout like new york and you just like take a walk and then you go from like 14th all the way down to like the pier or something like that because i felt like the outside world was so easily accessible i never took advantage of it um and so now that it's not so readily available it's starting to become more so um i just made sure to accurately always you know find something to do outside and um i i think there are a lot of apps I, I, so i always would like to say that um it's okay to do nothing but i like to do nothing with friends um so there are a lot of apps like yubo or anything like that where like if you just are just doing homework and you can do it with random other people and connect in other ways i think that's like really important so that 
I think it's just so you can integrate and be able to talk to people so it doesn't feel like such a huge gap like being by yourself all the time which can perpetuate a lot of like you know like your thoughts and overthinking and feeling lonely like I think just being able to text somebody whenever you're feeling anything whether that be like really high highs so like very happy excited about something or you're just like feeling bored or down or anything like that to be able to talk to someone that'd be really great um I don't know I feel like there isn't much to add but I just want to let you guys know that I hope your quarantine experience was not too much of a setback, but more of a comeback, you know, give you give you a lot of time to learn about yourself, learn about, you know, how you react to certain things. Um, it definitely puts you in a weird situation to put everybody in a weird situation. But um, I definitely feel like that uncomfortable situation allowed you to at least learn one thing about yourself or um push you to to grow in in an aspect um that you didn't think you would ah, damn. anyways thank you for uh making it this far through my my documentary hope you enjoyed it hope it uh touched you in a way that you know made you smile and everything but um as you wrap everything up i want to share a few words for myself to you guys i'm um, struggling through the pandemic um, yeah. I am motivated by fear. Fear of the unknown. Fear of the fact that I can't always change and control the outcome of what's ahead. But nothing scares me more than failing without putting my all out there. So whatever obstacles come my way, I push through them with heart. I devote each day, each emotion, each breath to making that effort count. And when I do fail or hit an obstacle that pushes me back harder than I pushed. I fall down with a smile. I smile because I know that the pain of failure is temporary. You cannot expect to get through life without failure. See, everybody wants happiness, success, and greatness without pain. But you can't have a rainbow without a little rain. The past year and some change has been a thunderous storm, but if you can continue to push through and hold out, you'll be able to see the rainbow as the storm clears out. Thank you for watching, and I hope I've made you smile. Take care. Hey, you ain't even gotta say it. It's understood, don't need to be complicated. Hey, you know we good, no reason to be explaining. Just give me loyalty, cause love is overrated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you love when we shade it. Duh, dog, they hate it when we isolate it. Hey. You know we good, no reason to be explaining Just want your loyalty, see the love is overrated Are you down to beat the streets with me? Or could you be blinded by all this sights you see? I'm willing to give you, you can All this stuff I got But no relationships involved I just need your loyalty, that's all Don't need love